is being captured. Alert. The control point is being captured. Um, during right here, the scout was capping the point. So they should have gone to the cap with them to prevent him from getting any more time on it. But uh, at the same time, he had the mini crits from the soda popper, so I wanted to stay away from bats. Yeah, he did, and that's something you have to judge whether or not it's more important to stop the cap or it's more important to stay alive. Yeah, yeah, that's. Depends on. There's a lot of factors that go into that. If you know your team is on their way but can't quite get there quite yet, you should go and. Maybe even risk your life to stop the cap so they can get there and stop it once again once the rest of his team gets there as well. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I wasn't really playing for the um, to win. I was just trying to basically get... Um, by the way, this I know this is by because I bump into him. Um, mostly because running is the most efficient way to spy tech. Um, but anyways... Yeah. Uh... What was I saying? <laughs> During this life, you pulled out the Mad Milk, but you were very hesitant to use it. The Mad Milk you should use a lot. You, just because you're at full health doesn't mean it's not a good opportunity to throw it. You should throw it at the beginning of combat, not wait till you're injured to throw it. Yeah, exactly. That's always one problem I have with the Mad Milk, especially because I use it most of the time just to um, put myself out of fire, because uh, I hate fire. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Fire does a lot of damage to the scout. I, um, right here. Yeah, you got hit by a frontier justice crit, so you probably ran away. And then, here, instead of going around to flank the demon man through a couple of different possible paths, kind of waited around and gave him a chance to have a sticky trap or something that he could have killed you with. Yeah. Well, my theory was in the, that he was going to follow me and uh, probably run out that window, and he didn't, so I went to check it out. Cause uh, I I didn't I don't think that he would have seen me if he wanted to go through the window. Uh, yeah, he probably would not have. Um, when there's a scout on you like that, you should try to turn on your genome because he's gonna keep following you until you die. Yeah. So even if you need to run for help, you should try to run a little back walking and try to keep pressure up on that scout to get some damage on him, cause him to run, or even kill him while you're on your way back to the office. Yeah. So yeah, you'll see even more comp higher level scouts is that once they see you're injured, they'll keep on you till you're dead. Because any pick on, uh, on for example, highlighter is, can be very, very important. Yeah, you took a very slow reaction time of that mini sentry hurting you, and it almost wiped you up by itself. If an injury had gone like two pistol shots off on you, maybe in three, you would have been dead. Or someone else with a shotgun or something. Any damage, pretty much. Um. You should avoid me sentries and scouts. They do a lot of damage. Try either to their range or find a way to kill them without taking too much damage. The main sentry is a very good counter to the scout. <laughs> it's so annoying. That's the the reason main sentry is considered one of the scout's strongest counters is because it put, goes up very fast and it zones the scout out of a lot of area and the scout's advantage is fast they can cover ground really quickly. You know, it's a area to use. Right here, it's a very bad idea to charge at two soldiers and a medic head yeah. on. <laughs> but luckily, you're able to get away with it. Yeah. Well, I was using um, that little ledge so I can stay in the air pretty much all the time uh, compared to that um, yeah. soldier just because that's I didn't want him to shoot my feet. That's the problem with uh, playing in public games is it allows you to get away with stuff that you probably shouldn't be getting away with so it teaches you bad habits. Yeah, I get that a lot with uh, Spy. Oh, yeah. Those screens are very close to you, but probably should have backed out of that fight. You couldn't get close enough to do meat shot damage, and one grenade would kill you if it hit you. Grenades do typically around 100 damage upon hitting you, and the damage calculation for grenade is very odd compared to other weapons. It yeah. calculates on where it hits you, and there's no uh, fall off from range. 
Yeah. Um, right here, go on fire, so you should go back to resupply locker immediately. Very good move. You could also have gone for a health kit. Yeah, but Bam. since uh, the resupply kit is but, here, might as well just give yeah. the health kit to someone that needs it. Um, Very true. I was about to say that. There's a lot going on right now. Good job of backing out right there. During There's a lot of people to be like pecking at you and perhaps even killing you in that situation. Yeah. And right here is an example of a jump that works on the other side of the map, but not on this side. Which is kind of frustrating because you can forget which is which most of That's the time. That's an example of how you kill a heavy as scout. Scouts are very good at killing lone heavies by doing that thing where they peek in and out of walls and just get to place where you can and getting good meat shots off on them. Yeah. That's also how you kill sentries. You can even kill a level sentry and I believe four hits if you can get good shots off on it without taking any damage. Well, a mini sentry only has like 100 health. Yeah, it has 100 health, so you can take it out on two solid shots. Once, even just one solid and one not so great. Yeah. See, we're very good throughout the whole entire gameplay of knowing when to back out and when to go for health kits and not overstaying your welcome in a fight. Yeah. That was kind of just a free kill. Yeah. You didn't even really get on that engineer. <laughs> but should have been an easy kill. You just missed the think it quite shots nailed quite correctly. Yeah, because my biggest problem I think with scout is just aim. Yeah, that's a very hard part of scouts. By far the hardest part of playing scout is learning to aim correctly. You're moving so fast and you have to hit so precisely to get those high damage numbers. Yeah. Well it's uh, kind of opposite to medic for example where you don't need technical skills as much as uh, game sense. Here yeah. I think it's more of the other way around, although you do need a lot of game sense as a You need scout. a five bit game sense. Yeah. Right here, you shouldn't be pecking at a sniper mid-range when they have their sniper zoomed in at you, because it takes one shot for them to, one good shot for them to kill you, but your pistol takes a few clips from that range to kill them, and he was five feet from a resupply locker, so how, how much harassing yeah. you did, you wouldn't have added up to anything. Yeah. Well, what was going in my head is that he's the biggest threat, so I wanted to take him down earlier, but at the same time, I can't take him down, so... Yeah, I couldn't in that situation. Mission ends in 60 seconds. <laughs> you really want that fish kill, but you... Yeah, it's... It to you. No! <laughs> it's because I have a strange fish. I didn't insult him right there, because, uh, yeah, I'm French. Uh, I, I have a strange <laughs> fish, so I want to use it as much as possible. Yeah. Makes sense. You know, your fish is not... Generally, a scout never pulls out their melee. They depend on their pistol and their scout gun to do all the work for them. Yeah. The They both do much higher DPS than the fat in melee. For example, the pistol does about 21 damage per shot at close range, and the scout gun can do upwards of 100. Whereas Just the bat does 35 a shot and fires much slower than the pistol. Yeah. Is coming to a close here. Pretty good shots on that sniper. We always moving a straight line. Cause yeah, as a sniper, when I see um, uh, scouts do that, I always throw Girardi just as they come in, and then I uh, bushwhacker them to death. Um, but since I knew that he didn't have bushwhacker, um, I went for uh, just just went for it. So I think this is the end of the gameplay. Um, thank you, the mysterious, and uh, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, all you want to do, and um, see you next time. Bye, guys.